What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. Y'all, happy Scorpio season. Woohoo! <laughs> Today is my birthday, y'all. Woo woo! Yes, okay. And I'm doing absolutely nothing, okay? Because I want to sit around and rest. I am hiding out in my house this weekend. Yes, your girl is hiding out, doing nothing, laying on the couch, watching TV, eating popcorn, eating candy, okay? <laughs> I'm doing absolutely nothing. This is my lazy day, y'all. I'm excited. So, happy birthday to all my Libra, Scorpio customers out there representing, okay? <laughs> y'all, I am so excited. We are finally in Scorpio season. So, Let's dive in and see what messages come out for you. Okay, what's going on with Scorpios, y'all? What is going on with my Scorpios, please, spirit? Overall energy for Scorpios. What's going on? What's the juicy stuff? Discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. Okay. So somebody's getting focused, grounded, zero, like zeroing in on what it is that they need to focus on. Indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Now, this is two opposite energies here. Now, what's going on here? We got one energy that's disciplined, another energy underlying this indecisive. So this could be a situation where maybe somebody's been indecisive in the past in the past in the past. In the past, not knowing what they wanted to do, and now they're realizing, okay, I need to get focused. I need to find out what it is that I need to go after here. What's at the top? Self-esteem and death. Yeah, okay. So somebody could be having a uh an ego death here. Self-esteem with the death card, going through a transformation. We are entering into Scorpio energy, which is death and rebirth, baby. Okay, or they could have just met a Scorpio and Scorpio transformed their life. Okay, you know what I'm saying? What's going on? What's going on with Scorpio? Somebody sees they need to change things. What's going on? Yeah, the balance card popped out. Hold on, mess. Yeah, the balance. It says, a, I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So somebody's restoring balance here. Somebody's realizing they need to get more discipline to restore this balance. Worry, I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. Failure is here. Blame is here. Excuse me. So somebody now is starting to accept responsibility of why things are failing here. Realizing they can't worry about the things that they cannot change. You know, it is what it is. Go with the flow. Yeah, death. Oh, this is going to bring in abundance too. Death, I am learning that endings are merely beginnings. In abundance, I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. So this is good. Again, it's somebody's going through a transformation. Somebody's going through their death and rebirth here. Somebody's realizing the way to get the things that they want in life is to be more disciplined, not to be indecisive, not to be on the fence. Oh, do I want this job? Do I not? Do I want to start here? Do I not? Do I want to buy this? Do I not? Like finally making up their mind and saying, okay, this is what I want to do. All right, and I'm going to stick to it. I'm going to make it happen. You know, this is like, say, say you want to start a YouTube channel, right? Oh, I thought someone was on my shirt, but that's my phone. Okay. Say some, let me turn this back. Say you want to start a YouTube channel and you, you jump in there, you, you know, you start it, you know, and you're realizing, okay, things aren't really going anywhere. They're not going anywhere because you're not disciplined. You're not focusing. You're not uploading, you know, daily or every other day or whatever. You're uploading once a month, right? So things aren't going to pay off the way that they need to. So somebody is starting to realize that, which is a good thing, okay? I, I'm, I'm all about some, some learning and evolving energy, you know? All right, give me a couple cards here for Scorpio. What's going on with Scorpio, please, spirit? What's going on with Scorpios, please, spirit? Nine of Wands energy. Okay, so this is Wounded Warrior energy here. So somebody, yeah, it's like they've been battling, going, going to town, going at things here, fighting for something here. And somebody, it's like, oh, they're, they're about to hit the Ten of Wands. Okay. Somebody is realizing this could be, you know, fighting for something that's bringing more burdens than it is good, bringing more cons than pros, you know, to a situation here. Somebody, you know, this is maybe, this is Justice, Nine of Pentacles. Maybe you were fighting for a relationship that just wasn't meant to be. You know, sometimes we fight for things that aren't meant to be in our life and spirit keeps showing us they're not meant to be in your life, baby. You need to give up. But you basically exhaust yourself trying to keep this, this job, this money, this, this lifestyle, this love, this relationship, something like that. Somebody's, somebody could be breaking up. 
okay? Somebody could be, you know, letting their job go here with the justice and the nine of pentacles. Somebody could be, you know, filing for divorce, wanting to be single, wanting to be separated here. This is also karma, you know, the scales balancing out again. Justice and justice, two balance cards here. This is, you know, justice being served here. Maybe somebody, some, some of y'all, this could be like a lawsuit. You know, if you've been fighting for your money to come in, I see somebody getting their money. They're just due. Looks really good, too. With that Nine of Pentacles, baby, it looks shiny, okay? <laughs> Let's see. Give me another card here. What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? The Star. Wish fulfillment, baby. Yes. Beautiful. The Death card. Two of Cups. Yeah, again, some of y'all, this could be the ending of a relationship. Somebody finding the courage and the confidence to let something go. Not saying there's not love here anymore, but there's definitely love here. But somebody's realizing, okay, I need to heal from this so that I can evolve from this and move on from this, right? Going into the next phase of their life here. Two of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles and the Emperor, the World card. Yeah, the Hermit. Somebody could have been, you know, really trying to give to a situation. This this person, they, they might have felt stuck, okay? Or it could have been a job. Maybe you were stuck at a job because, yeah, it paid good, but you just weren't happy there. Like, it was always chaos. It was always drama. It was always conflict. You know, the pay was good, but the, the environment was shitty, you know? And somebody's realizing, eh, it's time for me. Maybe maybe you've been on the fence about it for some time. Maybe you've had like an, a controlling boss or like a, you know, a very authoritative figure that just like, this is, how, you know, this is how it needs to be done. This is how it's going to get done. This is how it, da, 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 right? Or this could just be you being in a relationship with somebody that's very controlling, that's, you know, not not really willing to budge or understand, you know, it's kind of my way or the highway type of thing. This is also a situation where you're taking back control of your life, of whatever it is, the direction that you're going to restore balance back into your life. And you're saying to yourself, okay, maybe I do need to end this. Maybe I need to let, let go of this here and, and move on. Again, others of you, if this is like a YouTube channel, you're saying, okay, in order for me to grow this YouTube channel or grow this, and the only reason I say YouTube because it's something I can relate to, uh, grow this YouTube channel or grow this TikTok is by putting in the work, being disciplined, taking control here, putting time, energy, and effort into it with this queen of, queen of pentacles, really nurturing it, loving it, taking care of it here. That way I can grow and expand because the world card is not only about endings, but it's also about expansion, you know? And maybe you're realizing with the hermit mode, okay, in order for me to do this, maybe I need to isolate, you know, go into hermit mode and focus instead of trying to go out and party or hang with friends or do this and do that because that's not getting me anywhere, right? Somebody is starting to see their power too with the star card, really seeing how healing and inspirational you can be, how you can really change other people or heal other people here. So this is good. Somebody, It's like somebody stepping into the purpose. And what's going on with Scorpio? Three of Swords. Now, this may hurt somebody or this may make somebody feel heartbroken here. With this Three of Swords, the High Priestess. Some of y'all, Four of Swords, Page of Cups, Four of Wands in the world. Some of y'all, there, there was an ending to a relationship due to a third-party situation with the Three of Swords here. And um, somebody wants to come apologize, but it's like they see that you've already healed from the situation with the Four of Swords and the High Priestess. You know, maybe you're doing healing or they want to come towards you, but in secret and not really tell anybody, like not really making anybody else's business or something like that. What's at the top? Yes. Yeah, so, oh, they don't know how to come towards you. OK, either they don't know how to come towards you or you don't know how to go towards them. King of Pentacles, the Temperance, the Eight of Wands here. This is someone that is uh, grounded, you know, wanting to heal things, wanting to come into alignment here, wanting to come uh, communicate, move forward here. With this eight of wands energy but queen of swords somebody's very cold and detached not really wanting to you know you either gonna speak the truth or get out of my face type of energy here what's after that yeah the five of cups because somebody has regrets yeah somebody has regrets somebody feels like they lost something here but there's still two cups on the other side so you know there's an opportunity to start something new you know or you know pour into something new but you know this is like past mistakes. Maybe in the past, you weren't a good person. Maybe you were just a shitty person, you know, and you kept fucking over people, right? 
But when you turn around, you realize there's still two cups available. There's two new opportunities for you to either change the way you are, do something new, you know, whatever it is, try, um, start being a better person. We all have choices. We all have choices. The third party situation, somebody could be turning their back on a third party situation since he's turning his back on the three of cups going and then turn around to the two of cups wanting to be more committed instead of in these third party situations and things like that. But we'll see. Okay. Spirit. What's going on? What's the tea on this? Oh, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all are having a fabulous weekend, y'all. It's been it's been pretty nice here. I took my kids to the football game yesterday. I should have recorded and put something up, y'all. It was so cute. Okay. All right, stop talking. Confused. Okay, the confused card popped out. Yeah, somebody's confused. Like this nine of wands energy is very tired, very exhausting. It's like wounded warriors. Somebody keep getting beat up and they're like, I don't understand why this ain't working. Why isn't this working? Why isn't this uh, moving forward? Why isn't this, you know, turning out the way that I want it to? You know, so, but again, it's the wounded warrior. Now, this could be somebody, you know, oh, kissing ass ain't shit. Oh, Lord. Okay. And once, uh, once you back. This could be somebody that went about things the wrong way and like they just, they just the ain't shit person. I, I kept getting that. Like, they're just the ain't shit person. They're confused on why things don't work. It's because you fuck people over and then you turn around and kiss their ass and then you expect things to be all butterflies and rainbows, skittles and shit. Like, that's not how it works out. Somebody's confused on why things haven't been working out. But if you're just a shitty person, you're a shitty person. I don't, I don't know. Maybe somebody was being shitty towards you and wondering why, why don't you want to be friends anymore? Or why don't you want to be around me anymore? Because you're a shitty person. It's crazy. Sometimes we just have to realize that people just are who they are, you know, as bad as we don't want them to be. We want them to be this loving, caring person. We want them to be this brotherly, sisterly, loving person, this fatherly motherly person but everybody just ain't got it like that everybody ain't built like that child service is a bad karma some of y'all dealing with the ancient ass baby mama baby daddy and somebody's tiring themselves out wondering why why don't this person want to do right why don't this person want to be there for the kids or why don't this person want to step their game up because they just don't they shitty Let's just be real. Let's call a spade a spade. Let's call a pig a pig, okay? If it walks like a duck, talks like a duck, or quacks like a duck, it must be a damn duck, you know? Somebody's realizing that. Like, this, maybe somebody's realizing somebody's not going to change. What's the nine of wands? Karmic friends, threatening, intimidating, threatened, and bothered. Yeah, karmic friends. Then this person could be hanging around like people... Some of y'all, this is your friend, okay? Some of y'all, this is a friend that's near you. And you're like, why is this person, why does this person act like that? Or why does this person treat me like that? Because they, first of all, they look at you as threatened. Like they threatened by you. Like they feel intimidated by you. Maybe you got something about you that glows. Your love and your light energy glows and they, they can't stand that shit. I mean, that's just what it is. They a shitty person. The better you look. The more happier you are, the more shitty you make them look. Because they always in this low vibe, negative ass energy. They always, I can't stand going to work. I can't stand it. Have you ever been around somebody like that? And then your energy just be like, you know, it just, hey, damn, what the fuck? What's going on? It's because of that negative minded ass person. Obsessive lover. Some of y'all dealing with an obsessive lover. Oh, my goodness. But you unbothered. You over here unbothered. Some of y'all, this person's obsessive. They toxic as fuck. They could be, and then some of you, some of y'all, this person's in cahoots with your friends. They got your friends, your friends betraying you. You you hang with people you thought you was your friends. They really not. You're hanging with a, a toxic karmic ass lover, and it is 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 unhealthy. Somebody is is confused. Why is shit not working out in my life? It's because you around some unhealthy ass people. <laughs> like I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who this is for. If you wonder why you keep fighting to get ahead and you can't get ahead, you need to check your circle. You need to check your circle. You need to check your friend group because somebody's sending you some negative ass energy 
a lot of them are sending you some negative ass energy. I don't know. Somebody is somebody in the mix. You need to check who who you're loving on, who you're fucking on, who you're hanging with, spending time with. You because that shit right there, people don't realize it is detrimental to your growth and your expansion. If you're around negative minded ass people that want to be negative and oh, I can't stand that hoe, I can't da da da. They talk about everybody they run into like, dang, what'd she do to you? I, nothing. I just don't like her. Why? I don't know. I just don't like her. You don't like her. Well, I met her and she's actually very lovely. She's a very nice person or he's a very charming person. I mean, he's very sweet. I mean, you got to watch on that charming shit, but he's very sweet, very kind hearted. Why don't you like him? I don't know. I just don't like him. Okay. Did, did, did they do something or did they just give you a bad energy or, you know, it just be some people just don't like you because you're doing better than them or things in your life are, are, are prospering or something like that. And they're over there miserable and pissed off. And, oh, honey, this sounds like somebody I know. Okay, yeah, they lost their chance or you did in their head overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing. Now this person, they realized they lost the opportunity with you. They might have felt like they missed out on being friends with you or being a lover with you, whatever. Family member, having that life with you, whatever, okay? They overthinking, stressed, overanalyzing here. They, they, And a lot of these people are realizing the reason they missed out on this is because of the people they fuck with, the people they hang with, okay? What's the star energy for Scorpio? Oh, so yeah, somebody is healing from some lies, uh, from some stuff that has been made up about them here with this facts. No facts, never has the facts, make shit up in lies. There's this person very, you know, star quality, healing, you know, could be an Aquarius for some of y'all, um, or you have Aquarius in your chart, but somebody's been lying on somebody and somebody's realizing like, oh, wow, boss bitch. They actually are who they say they are. Somebody could have been trying to tear your name down, drag your name through the mud, and like you just kept pressing through it you know you just fuck what they say let them say whatever they need to and you just kept going forward here fake flexing acts rich flosses money acts fancy shows off crying of you sad hurt upset etc and then somebody else is like they're realizing this person was a fake they were a phony now they crying because they realize you were the real thing you were the real deal giving money you could yeah some of y'all could have even like been very loving and caring given to people here you know Give another on the star. Some of y'all have a, a platform and people see you receiving your accolades for your work. What's the star? Yeah, and I'm telling you, somebody is threatened by this here. Dirty offer, block Facebook. Some of y'all done blocked a person here from coming towards you or offering you anything because you know it was a lie anyway. Dusted off, marrying for money. Yeah, always partner. You know this person and ignoring. You're, whoever this is, you ignore this person. You know they've lied on you. They've told stories on you. Um, but they're threatened by you. And the reason they're threatened by you is because they see you as a star or they see you as somebody that can be very successful, very great, has a lot of um, future opportunities coming in for you here. And the thing is, this dusted off with the marrying for money, this person could have used you for money at one point, took advantage of you, of your kindness, your time, your energy, your efforts. Doesn't have to necessarily be money, but you know, your time, your energy, your love, they could have just used you here, always partying and ignoring it was all fun and games when they were receiving that. But now that you're ignoring them, I mean, now that you done blocked them, they're trying to find another way to come back with this dirty offer. Like, well, what can I offer Scorpio to get back in Scorpio's energy? Or, you know, because, I mean, Scorpio now sees me as a liar. They don't see me as who they, they see through me. You know, they've healed from me. They've healed from the hurt and the pain that I gave them in the past. And now I don't know how to get back in that energy. What's the star for Scorpio? Yeah, dodging bullets. You see this person's toxic as somebody you don't want to fool with, as somebody you don't, some of y'all, this is an Aquarius or this is, uh, you have Aquarius in your chart again. It, it's like, it's this healing energy. Um, or Yeah, you could be dealing with any air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Some people like me to say the signs. I don't really like to say them because you can operate out of these energies. You see what I'm saying? Like for me, I'm a Libra, Scorpio, Cusp. A lot of times I, I don't operate out of neither one of those signs. I operate out of my rising sign or I operate um, out of my north node. Okay, so um, and be careful telling that stuff. Don't tell that to everybody because everybody don't need to know your, your chart, you know, but I am a Scorpio Libra cusper. But nine times out of 10, I'm not operating out of my Scorpio Libra energy. I'm normally operating out of my rising sign. So but anyways, um. But yeah, some of y'all are dodging 
or you're going to realize that you dodged the bullet with this person because whoever they are, they're a liar, cheater, scammer anyway, okay? So have no fear, okay? In their head, overthinking, stressed, over analyzing, photo proof, getting evidence. Yeah, they lost their chance. And somebody is now seeing that they really did lose out on the opportunity with a great person here. And, uh, you know, I mean, it is what it is. Clarify three of swords. Moves in silence. So you're moving in silence. You're moving on. Again, I kept getting the energy of somebody wanting to apologize to you, but they want to do it like low key, like, you know, because they miss you. Yeah. Love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydreaming, nostalgic. And you you could be ignoring this person, whoever this is you're ignoring. Okay. They like third parties. They like the drama filled life. They like the fun times, all that stuff. So you're ignoring this person. This person could put you in a third party situation here. You feel like they're wasting your time. Okay. They just kind of cock block your future, your progress, your successes here. So you're blocking them out. Yeah, hustling, making it rain, focused on um, money and getting it. Yeah, you might feel like this person blocks your hustle. Okay, so you may be distancing yourself from this person. You know, letting go of them, moving on. What's the three of swords? A closer look nosy up in your business. They still all up in your business, though. They want to know what you're doing, what you're up to. Oh, what, what, what is Scorpio working on? What is Scorpio getting into now? Hmm, okay. Look, boss bitch runs on business. Yeah. You're focused. See, a lot of you focus on your money, your finances, your career here. Somebody's worried about your money, though. Like, how much money you make, how much money you got coming in. Damn, somebody nosy. Okay? Somebody's really, really nosy. I mean, they want to know, like, how much money you make, how much money you got coming in, how many streams of income you got, you know. This is why, though. Y'all need to be careful, whoever this is. Be careful telling people your business. Thief and creativity mantra. It says... Rob lost theft, physical or emotional, and creativity much is steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, and feeds off of you. They just want to feed off of you. They want to eat off of your plate, okay? Don't want to do the work, but want to eat off your plate. Yeah. Yeah. Low IQ. This is a low vibrational person, low, uh, low energy. Somebody that doesn't really have the drive that you have, but they see the success in you. They really see the success in you. But at the same time, they're very intimidated by you, so they wouldn't really tell you. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Extra triggered. Call the case. See, this person's problem is they operate out of the lower chakras, okay? They operate out of their sex, um, obsessions, you know. Uh, some of them are dealing with the Jezebel spirit, you know. They, they're they very passion-driven, but in the wrong type of ways, okay? And if you overextend yourself or overuse yourself and sleep with multiple people, all this and all that, you're really thinning out your energy and you need to get back into alignment so you can take that energy, that creative energy, which is the sacral chakra, you know, and take that energy and pour it into your creative outlook, like your TikTok, your YouTube, your work, your success, your career, your money, you know, but whoever this is, they allow their lower parts to make, kind of make decisions for them. Some of y'all, this person could be burning, okay? May need to go get tested, go to the doctor. Um, could have an STD of some sort. Or this person is realizing that their toxic ways, wow, look at that, too busy winning and boss bitch. Somebody winning. It. Somebody is really winning. Give me one more on the three of swords. This is breaking somebody's heart too. Clarify the three of swords. This is breaking somebody's heart because I'm telling you, you focus on your bag. You focus on your money. Somebody feels like you're ignoring them, like you don't really want nothing to do with them. Yeah, they feel lonely. Screenshots, incarcerated, wolf and sheep's clothing. But then this person, they're not even a, a honest person, but they feel so left out on what you got going on. They're like, wow, I'm on that. I'm outside the club. I can't even get in. No, you can't because I got to let you go, boo, you know. You already gave me the evidence I needed to let you go to free myself from you here. And now you stuck because you was you was out here being a, a fake, being a phony, a wolf in sheep's clothing. Like you literally, you tried to take me out when I had nothing but love for you, when I had nothing but, you know, now you stuck in your head about your toxic ass, trifling ass ways. You know what I'm saying? Screenshots. And I got proof, baby. It ain't like I made the shit up in my head. I got proof. Of why I'm leaving you out in the cold and why I'm ignoring you. Because you you was a trifling motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So now somebody feels left out because they see you on your hustle. Yeah. This person could have went towards a third party. Was chasing again lower vibrational stuff. Travel, love triangle, chasing and drama started. And it caused a lot of drama. It caused a lot of conflict. You know, it caused a lot of chaos in your life. That you didn't want. Yeah, played out. And you got tired of it. You was just like, look, I got to move on. I got to get away from this stuff. I can't deal with this. It's time for me to move on. Okay? 
So let's get you one last message. Let's get you an Alice in Wonderland. Go ahead and pull these out in a little minute. Let's get y'all out here and see what y'all got for Scorpio. And again, I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all are having a fabulous weekend, okay? Let's see. What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? All right. Ooh. Clock time, time, pressure, in a rush. All right, number 14. It's crunch time, baby. Either you in or you out, okay? Crunch time. Either you in or you out, because, baby, regardless where I'm going, I'm going. I'm focused. I'm here. I'm going in this direction. Somebody's like, baby, either you're going to be on this train by so-and-so o'clock or you're not, or you're going to get left behind, okay? And somebody, unfortunately, looked like they got left behind, and it's it wasn't by your choice. I mean, they gave you no other option. You know what I'm saying? They literally gave you no other option by being deceptive, lying, cheating, stealing, going behind your back, you know, trying to tear you down, trying to attack you and take you out when all you was trying to do was build them up. So number 13, all must have prizes trying to please everyone. Somebody's a, a, a people pleaser here. And this could have been the reason why they was willing to betray you, to please other people. And they're realizing the people they betrayed you for ain't even real true friends. They ain't even real true and genuine. They karmics. Look, it said, can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. You confused on why this ain't working out. It's not working out because they're karmics. It's not working out because they weren't true friends. You could have been a real true friend to this person. This person betrayed you for some fake ass people. You know? Yeah, almost have prizes. Okay. Somebody's realizing, damn, you was the prize. You was the gift. And I fucked it up. Yeah, you did, but. It is what it is, okay? <laughs> With that being said, y'all got to go. Hope this gives you some clarity and some insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.